Welcome back. This is the 14th of June 2019. I'm going to do questions number three and questions number four. Question four is a nasty one, rarely asked, but we'll have a go at it when we, when we look at it. So it's June 14. It's P2, it's the year 12 paper, and we're going to look at questions three and four. So let's have a look at question number three. The solar system consists of many objects, including planets. Some of these objects orbit around the sun. Describe the main features of the solar system. In this equation, now again, this is in bold text, so you should be paying attention to this. In this equation, you'll be assessing the quality of your written app communication. So it has to be capital letters, it has to be full stop, it has to be a meaningful sentence, and it has to have the correct spelling. There's more or less two marks for this. For that. For that. Your answer should include a list of the planets in order from the sun. The list of planets. So so remember, my very evil mother just served us nothing. It's a mnemonic. It should be written on the paper. The list. It has to be a list. So Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Now we know that these four here are the rocky ones, and we know these are the gas ones. Fair enough. So name one rocky planet. So one rocky planet would be, well you can take anything you want from uh, Mercury, Earth, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Mercury. Venus, Earth, Mars. Now I'm not spelling them, but I'm showing you what they are. any of those would do, because those are the four rocky ones. One of the gas, so you can go for one of the gas ones: Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, or Neptune. Make sure you have the spelling right. If you don't know it, put them in the list and learn them. Name a body which orbits a planet other than an artificial satellite. Go for a moon. Uh, we have one moon, but there are some other planets that have many moons. The name of the force which provides the orbital motion in the solar system. This is gravity. Gravity makes all other planets orbit around the sun. And all satellites orbit around the planet. So, we might have done this question a bit quick. But, again, the mnemonic is the key and the spelling is the rest. So that's question number three done, quite quickly. Now we'll go to question number four. Question four is about electromagnets. An electromagnet is a magnet that you can turn on or turn off using an electric current. So there is a cell. And the most important thing here is to draw in the conventional current. There is it there. And this cell supplies a current around this coil. And this cardboard tube, it could be a cardboard tube, it's just round, won't be a very strong electromagnet, but the best one is steel or iron. Well, steel is very closely related to iron, it's more or less iron with carbon in it. So if you want to make this an electromagnet, remember spit. So steel in there would be a permanent magnet. So you could magnetize that. The trouble is it doesn't demagnetize when you break the circuit. But iron is used as a temporary magnet. Right? So that's remember that. So describe three ways to increase the strength of electromagnet. One larger current. And now the second one you have to be careful. Just don't use the word more turns. More turns per unit length. More turns per unit length. So if you had 10 turns in 10 centimetres, then you want 20 turns in 10 centimetres. More turns per unit length. So please don't use just more turns. And then the last one is, we're up to here again. Soft iron core. Right. Remember, if you used a steel 
it would make this a permanent so you couldn't turn it off so an electromagnet you'd have to turn the thing off so the direction of the current in the coil is reversed how would you do that you just simply turn you want to direct that conventional current around the other way you just take the battery out twist it around to put it in the other way and that will turn the current the other way so tick the correct box to show the direction of what happens well the magnetic field only becomes stronger if you make more current so that's not happened and it becomes weaker if you use less current so the only other option then is that the north and south poles are reversed so the north and south poles and look i put a text not an x see that there do what it says now I go on to the second half of this question the diagram shows a current line wrapped around a cardboard tube. Remember earlier on I was talking about a cardboard tube? The cardboard tube is just there so that you can have a former to put the coils on. That's what that's for. So the magnetic field lines are shown. These are lines of flux. right? So we have to find which pole is which. Complete the diagram. Show the north and south poles in the box provided. So let's have a look. So we're going to draw what we see here. First thing we're going to draw in is the conventional current. Right, we know it doesn't exist, not with a tooth fairy and Santi, but we're going to use it to see here. So we're going to, there's the end of that tube. I'm going to look in here with my BBI. There he is, oh BBI. My eyelashes on there. So we're going to look in here. And there's the front of the tube. And there is the back of the tube. And we can see that this wire goes up over the front. Up over the front. Like that. See that? There is the front of the tube. And the wire goes up over the front and disappears down the back. And the conventional current going up. See the way? Out of the positive and up. So what way is that going? Well that's going anti-clockwise. So that must be a north. So that's a north. Remember anti clockwise means that that is a north now if that's a north then that has to be a south but we'll do it anyway because we'll see what the BDI there's the BDI again and we'll see what the BDI looks into here so there is the end of the tube and now the front is on your left and the back is on your right and it comes up round and down and there's your conventional current you see that coming down the back so if you look into this there's the back and the coil comes straight down like that and the conventional current is going clockwise so c l o c k w i well doesn't take a genius to know that that's the south so that's the south so the last one is actually quite a nice question indicate with the arrows the direction of the magnetic line at a and b a magnetic field always points from north to south so the arrow points from north to south, except inside a solenoid where it points from south to north. It's the direction an isolated north pole would take in that field. So the, if that was an isolated north pole, it would be rejected by, or repelled by this north pole. So go that way, and then it moves on this way. And that's always the trick there. Fair enough. So there's those questions. Now we'll just have a look at these marks game of this. And here we have it. Planets listed. If you don't learn that mnemonic, you're a wally. Have to be in the correct order. Rocky from Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. You went back to our question again. You see the way I worked with the mnemonic? That's called exam technique. Right? There's no reason that you can't write that down on the paper. Um Cases in Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. If you can't spell them, they're there on the March game. You learn them. I can't do that for you. Moon and gravity. And again, look at these marks here. There's no point in throwing marks away. Six marks for that. So, that's grand. Now, let's go to the next one. And now, this is a nasty question. Rarely asked. So, increased current. Increase the number of turns per unit length would be a better answer, Mr. Examiner. And a soft iron core. Don't put don't put any other metal in because they're not magnetic. Uh, don't say a copper core because very little, if anything, 
It has to be a soft iron core. If you put in a steel core, you make it a permanent magnet, and then when you turn the current off, the stuff still sticks to it. North and south poles are reversed. So no, we say it comes north, no, south. North and south poles labelled properly, correct, showing the arrows. And the trick in that one again, getting back to this one. From north to south, except inside of sunlight where it points from south to north. There's those two there's another two questions, that's questions three and four done. Thanks for listening. I'll be back shortly.